Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the indoor blower wheel bearing in this Carrier Gree E-Tech heat pump unit, you will need a number 2 Phillips head screwdriver and a power drill with a 5 16 inch socket. Before you begin, be sure to turn the unit off and disconnect the power supply. When performing this procedure, you will need to fully uninstall the unit from the wall. To do this, remove the unit's front panel by pulling the bottom of the panel out to release it from the tabs, then lift up. If applicable, disconnect the wall thermostat wire connector and the energy management wire connector. Using the power drill with the 5 16 inch socket, Unthread the four mounting screws, securing the unit to the wall sleeve. Now have an assistant help you to slide the unit out of the sleeve and set it on a towel or blanket. Using the number 2 Phillips head screwdriver, unthread the three screws to release the left side mounting bracket. Now unthread the screw securing the blower wheel side access cover. Lift the cover up and out. Unthread the three screws to release the bearing cover. Now unthread the two screws to release the retaining plate from the cover and you can remove the old bearing. To install the new blower wheel bearing, set it in the cover, align the retaining plate and thread the two screws. Realign the bearing cover and thread the screws to secure. Reposition the side access cover and secure it with the screw. Reposition the mounting bracket and thread the screws. Reinstall the unit by sliding it into the wall sleeve until the seal rests against the front of the sleeve. Rethread the mounting screws to secure the unit. Avoid over tightening the screws.
Reconnect the wall thermostat and energy management wire connectors, if applicable. Reinstall the front panel by aligning the tabs over the top rail, then push the bottom of the panel in until it snaps into place. Restore power to the unit, and the ETAC heat pump system should be ready for use.